Hello humans! Uh, I thought I would take this opportunity to explain something that's had a big misconception out there uh, about uh, Dovo and the way that they hone on a razor. Uh, you may have read, I know I have read it many times over the years, that uh, the stone that they're using to hone the razors is very dished or, or you know, uh, out, of, out of true with the middle down low. Uh, you can see in this little JPEG here where somebody posted it, but I know in various forums I've read it many times. Uh, uh, this other little JPEG, I don't know if you can read this there, but uh, it was a more recent thread, and uh, let me just go through the bullet points here. The original poster mentions how you know the synthetic stone they use after the mechanical sharpener in the How It's Made video and then they're indicating that they can clearly see that the stone is round. Uh, some of the other people remark about how uh, they don't know about Dovo stone, but you can know exactly where you are in contact with the hone. On a flat hone, you just work specific parts without compromising the rest of the edge. Uh, the next guy says that it's uh, uh, that it would be good to have a flat stone for the sake of hitting everything at once, but you can do the same thing with a flat stone. Uh, somebody else chimes in, ever wonder why Dovo shave ready razors always need to be professionally honed on the first day you get them, now you know. Uh, somebody says, it looks to me like the stone is just dished from use unintentionally but doesn't get lapped ever. Uh, and then we go on from there. Uh, well, there's a lot that's wrong information in here, so I'm just going to try to condense as best as I can. Okay, so first of all, the stone that you're seeing is actually a real Belgian cuticule. Uh, at least it was when I went there in 2011. It was a big point of contention for me during the factory tour to stop and ask them about that. We went back and forth three or four times. Are you sure that's a cuticle? Yes, they said yes. And I had to stand next to it from a couple of inches away and look at the side to ultimately be convinced that it is a very large, thick, extremely bright yellow cortical, but nonetheless it's a real one. Um, they've actually told me since then that they prefer the Arkansas stones because once you get them the way that you want them you get to have them stay that way for a long time. But uh, the key point of this video is that the stone is always supposed to be intentionally convex. It is never supposed to be flat. And this isn't something that Dovo came up with, as they told me. It's something that's been the way of the trade guild that's in the Solinian Vault area for over a century. So these guys who think they're so witty and you know, coming after the biggest manufacturer and saying, everyone wonder why the Dovo shave ready, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, you're shitting on the big guy, but you're taking down whoever small esoteric person that you like because they all do it this way for at least until before the Titanic. And the thinking goes that once you uh, insert the razor into this little double wheelie bob that you can see in this picture, uh, the razor is never truly flat after that. That's the German brain being the literal way that it is, saying that it's never truly flat. So being as it's not truly flat, only a convex stone and a slightly elliptical stroke can guarantee that you're going to touch all of the blade edge during each pass of the use of the razor on the stone. So that's why they do it. They do it to guarantee that uh, all the blade touches and I would love to have myself a convex stone like that. Uh, I did notice where somebody said that they were pointing out that you'd be making contact with a very small portion of the blade on each stroke would lead to many more strokes. And that's true, but you have to understand some cauticals can be blazing fast at their minimum speed with plain water. And uh, if you have a really fast one that's really hard and got lots of garnets, uh, it don't matter if that contact patch is a tiny little thing. Uh, you're going to be working pretty quickly. Uh, yes, you can, as somebody else pointed out, you can use a flat stone 
uh, and try to make contact the same way. But I really think you're doing more of the so-called rolling X, where you're basically making contact with the bottom line of the stone as it faces you and the bottom line of the edge, and you're just moving which portion of your razor is at the bottom of the stone. So even if you're doing it that way and working on a flat stone, you're still working by isolating the two elements, basically putting one part of blade together with one part of stone. So to sum up, it's actually a codicle. They prefer Arkansas stones. They intentionally convex them. Uh, it's been a long time since we talked about it, so I forgot what the, the there, there was a percentage of how much convex rel relative to the size of the thing. But becoming someone who is a uh, trade guild grinder or, or uh, whatever the term is for the person that owns the razor, part of that, part of that certification in Germany is that you have to be able to prepare this tool and to make this tool this gentle convex way so that the proper stroke of applying the bevel uh, is that the razor and the stone just have a tiny contact point and you make a little elliptical motion. Okay, the more you know. Do -do -do -do. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.